This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I extract a single polygroup from a subdivided subtool and retain its subdivisions? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a glove model here loaded in. Now this glove model consists of one subtool. The subtool itself has four subdivisions. So there's the high, and there's the low. And if I turn on my polyframes here and disable the line option, you can see these are the polygroups that it consists of. So the question is asking, how can I go by, say, splitting this polygroup off of this model here and making it a new subtool and keep all the subdivisions this model has? So to do this, the process is pretty simple. So first we need to make sure you have your model on the highest subdivision level, and we're just going to mask the entire thing. So I'm just gonna hold control, and then drag a masking box around the entire model, and then just release. So now the entire model here is masked out. Now the next thing you need to do is we just need to go back to that lowest subdivision level. So I'm gonna take the slider here in geometry and just go all the way down to subdivision one. Now, once we're at subdivision one, we can now come through and isolate the polygroup we want to split off. I'm just going to hold control and shift and click on this polygroup here. And now I should only have this polygroup selected. Now, the next thing we need to do now that we just have this polygroup visible is underneath the subtool palette here, we need to open up this split panel. And in here, you have an option for split hidden. Now, if you're not on the lowest subdivision level, this option will be grayed out. So you need to make sure you're on the lowest subdivision level to do this process. So now that you have this visible like so, just come over here and simply click Split Hidden. It's going to split the hidden part of the glove here onto a new subtool and just leave this part on another subtool. Now, after this is completed, you should get something like this. So we have one subtool, I'll just turn on Solo here, which is that polygroup. And then our second subtool is the rest of the glove here with all the other polygroups. Now all you have to do is go back to that subtool and then go back to the highest subdivision level and then go back to the glove and go back to the highest subdivision level. Now if I turn off solo, you can see now the model has been split into those two different chunks. So each of these areas is a separate subtool. And you can see no seam has been created on the mesh here and you have higher and lower subdivisions on both of the meshes here. So that process again, we'll just do it again for the second time on this glove, is first mask out your entire model, go to the lowest subdivision level, isolate the polygroup you want to split, and then just come over here and click Split Hidden. And then after that's completed, you'll have a subtool with just that isolated part. Scroll that up to the highest level, and you can go and select the other part of your model and scroll that up to the highest level. And now you can see I have the glove now split into three different subtools. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.